Hi guys, um, Shani here today. Um, my 50 subscriber giveaway um, is nearly at an end. We're up to 37 subscribers now, I think. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're about 13 people away. So please, you know, recommend um, people subscribe to this video. You know, everyone's got a good chance to win. The prizes are fantastic. Shani here. So if you like this look, please stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so let's get started. So, this side's already done, um, and let's get started on this side of the face. I haven't contoured yet, so I'll show you how I do that. If anyone's interested in seeing my foundation routine, um, please just leave a comment below or make a video response. Um, okay, so first I'm going to take my angled cheek brush. This is just a brush from Cos... And then my MAC blush in matte bronze. Yeah, so just loading my brush up, tapping off the excess, and then when you contour, um, best way I've found, especially for like my face, I've got a round face, is sort of where the pupil is, looking straight up, that's where you want your contouring to end. Um, so then you contour from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, so just using a brushing motion, back, and then just bring it up to the temples a little bit, come back down and bring down on the jaw. Then what I do to finish it off, I just sort of brush the contouring up so it's not just a harsh line. Then I'll apply my highlight. Um, I've been currently using the um, Too Faced Candle Light. Um, I really quite like it. It's it's a very subtle shimmer. Um, and then so I'm just loading up my brush tapping off the excess and then just doing like a little V so above the eyebrow and down under the eye okay. so once those are done then you want to apply your blush um, so basically where your contouring is here and your highlight is here you want the blush to be in the middle so I'm going to do a blend today of fruity blush in peach fizz And then the Urban Decay blush in Afterglow blush in Quickie. Okay, so starting with the Peach Fizz, load up my brush, tap off the excess, and then starting from the corner, working down. And I know it's an angle brush, but I sort of try and sweep it a little bit. And you want to try and blend a little bit into your the contouring and the highlighter, so you don't have like three lines. You don't want like bronze color. Um, highlight and then using the same brush this brush has been used for everything the highlighting contouring and blush load it up tap off the excess and then sort of again a little bit towards the end into the uh, peach now the same with your highlighting and contouring you don't want to go sort of any further than the corn in the middle of your pupil um, because then that's going to drag your face and then just try and do and just brush it out a little bit using going towards your ear yeah so now that's all done let's get started on the eyes as always I'll be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion so just applying that over the whole lid Okay, and then as I said, we're using all TikTok, so my base for today is going to be the TikTok Infinity Base in white. So I'm just using my ring finger, mixing the product, and then applying it on just on the lid. And this bit doesn't have to be neat. I mean, if you you want, you can just use your fingers, but I've just got a a cheap stiff dome brush, so it fibers are synthetic. But I just like to. brush so just using that brush brush down you may need to put a, a couple of coats because you are blending them there we go Now 
Yeah. So then to get the crystal line, you just want a piece of tape, pop it onto the back of your hands a few times, and then apply from the corner of your eye to just before the end of your eyebrow. This is going to be like a guideline. Now, taking your pixie epoxy, um, for any pixie epoxy, this is just a sample I bought. It was like a dollar fifty Australian. Just want to take the tiniest little bit with your finger and then just gently brush it on. Now, this is what's going to make your eye pigment stick. Um, you don't want to put too much because then you'll just have a mess. Um, it'll crease and it does not look attractive. Pixie Epoxy is not a primer, it is a base, so keep that in mind. Okay then, so taking our first colour of the day, it's TikTok's Big Ben, and it's kind of a purpley blue colour. So just with a plain old flat synthetic brush, load it up, tie off the excess, and then gently pat about halfway use as much as you need to get the desired colour if you use a padding motion you get less fallout um, here's an option um, if you were a bit worried or you haven't used pigments before you could hold a tissue under your lower lash line it'll catch so you can see we've got a little bit of fallout there um, and pixie epoxy also helps um, reduce fallout and it helps to hold glitter in place so if you've got a glittery shadow it'll help that um, my next color which we put over the other half is Salvador Dial Dali see I always stuff that one up again just taking a clean synthetic brush Dipping the colour in and then applying that over the other half. And you can see how this one's quite glittery. The pixie epoxy helps to hold that on. And so you just want to pat it lightly over where the two colours meet to blend them. Um, now, here's the fun part. Taking a very very fluffy brush. This is just another Cosmetica rounded blending brush. Pick up some more of that Salvador. Just a little circle motion and bring it around. I mean you, you could stop where I had before but I like my eyeshadows a little bit higher. Just bring that down to the front. To look to see if they're the same. Yep, perfect. Now Cleaning off your fluffy brush, just dip it back into Big Ben because you just want to sort of try and blend out a little bit more of that blue. And this one you sort of can do a bit of a sweeping, almost pressing motion just to make that pop again. You can sort of see. Perfect. Now, taking a completely clean brush, this is another Cosmetica, we're going to take our palette in colour which is from the Tea Time collection, one lump or two. Now tragic, tragic, heartbreaking little story with this colour. When I was filming this video, the pot dropped. I've lost like half of it. It's devastating. I'm going to have to buy another set just for this colour because this colour is not available individually. So I'm actually quite devastated at the moment. Um, so taking some colour on the tip of your brush, starting from the inner corner of your eye, sweep up and into that purple we placed.
this is a very gorgeous colour. When I first got it, I wasn't wasn't too keen on it. Um, I didn't know how it would react with the look, but it's actually become one of my favourite highlighters. And like I said, absolutely devastated that I dropped half. It's actually really, really made me quite sad for the rest of the day. I've got white pigment everywhere in my my office slash makeup room. Um, so you can bring it up as high as you like. I like to go out halfway. Putting the lid back on it. I'm not going to have a repeat cause, because I've only got this one. We are halfway there. Now this would not be called Big Ben visits Salvador Dali to see the decay if we didn't have any decay. So this is a colour from the Halloween collection. Um, naturally <laughs> it is called Decay and it's a gorgeous green colour. I haven't actually reviewed this yet but I do, in, I do like this um, colour. Taking a pencil brush this is just a no name brand one load it up and then you want to start from the inner corner and then run it along the bottom lash line and a quick little tidy up just using a powder brush My look is not finished yet. I'm taking my Napoleon eyebrow pencil in chocolate. Just going to fill in my eyebrows. Just short little strokes. What I like about, I mean, you can use eyeshadow with your eyebrows um, if you like, as long as you blend it through. But what I like about pencils is um, they've got a bit of wax to them, so it helps to hold the um, brow in place. And then taking a little spoolie brush, I'm just going to brush it through. Now if you wanted to, you could just leave the um, eyelid like this. Um, obviously you might want to put something on your lower lash line if you want. If not, you don't have to. But what I've done is I've gone and taken my gel liner, um, Napoleon's gel liner, and I've just got a very thin line on the top. Most people who know me probably think, what? Because I'm known to do Cleopatra eyes. Um, it's borderline obsessive. But for y'all today, I just thought, you know what? Um, I'll mix it up a bit. This is Napoleon's gel liner in Equinox. As you can see, I guess a little oven. And there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can ignore the brush. <laughs> you can use a synthetic angled brush like this. This is a Napoleon brush in a 5A. Um, so now starting from the outside and the whole trick with these kind of things is just take your time I mean the gel is manipulable, manipulable. I'm going to take it all the way down to the inner corner. I would have gone a little bit higher on that side, so just quickly fix up the other. Perfect. Um, and I do like to do my waterline with my gel liners. Um, simply because they make it last so much longer. So just take my angle brush again. But please, before you actually put your gel liners onto your waterline, um, some people can 
have a funky reaction to it. Like they find it hurts their eyes. Um, pulling off the tape. And it's always best just to, even if you just try a tiny little bit, tiny little corner or something because it can irritate some eyes. Like my sister says this irritates her eyes. So I don't put the gel liner on the water one. Um, and that's just because she, it doesn't feel comfortable. And as I was a little bit high, I've just come with the brush I use with Salvador Dali. No extra product on I'm just sort of brushing over the top of it. And that just helps to thin it down just a little bit. With makeup, um, people say... The fun thing is, you can't actually make a mistake with makeup. Um, everything you do can be fixed or tweaked or altered to suit what's happened. So... Don't stick to that whole, oh my god, I've just gone and, you know, gone a bit high or now I've ruined my look. It's not. You can go over things, you know, re-go over again with the eyeshadow. You might have to go over a few times, but it saves you having to wipe off your whole lot of makeup um, and things like that. Or leaving pots undone and then dropping them all over the floor. Oh, and then putting on a coat of mascara. Beautiful. Um, and for my lips, I just wanted to do something really simple. So this is the MAC Gem of Roses. I got glitter from the, the pot. And... Just something really simple, really light. And that's the look. Thanks guys. I'll post the link to my Twitter, my blog and my Facebook group down below. See ya.